Today, I am going to explain Newtonian physics versus quantum physics and how it ties into manifestation. So in my last speaking video, I was talking about how we live in a whole universe of infinite possibilities, right? But why is that? And that can be explained with quantum physics. So I'm going to explain the difference between Newtonian physics and quantum physics and how that applies to manifestation. Warning, I'm already giving you a warning, so don't come after me. This is not going to be the most proper scientific video um, because I'm not all about that like, i'm not all about that so if you want to know the super super proper like scientific terms and definitions and like all these fancy words like i'm not going to be about that i'm going to explain a basic way and how it makes sense to me and in the way that you can understand pretty easily well pretty simple we're all about easy and simple over here we're not making anything more complicated than it needs to be i got my magical thinking glasses on so you know i'm ready to explain i got the inspiration for this video from this book i'm currently reading which you all probably know but i'm pretty late to reading it it's called breaking the habit of being yourself by dr joe dispensa and it's an amazing book i'm not even finished yet i'm like literally halfway there and i'm literally so inspired and so mind blown by so many of these things which we always talk about manifestation law of attraction law of assumption but to put it in like a more science scientific logical way you know it just uh, it clicks with me also like it clicks with me better combined with the other things that so many people other talk, like always talk about okay i see two to two on my video recording here so anyway let's get started so first of all this is newtonian physics okay basically newtonian physics is all about the senses it's all about defining a reality and if you don't know newtonian physics comes from it comes from isaac newton's theory everything is essentially super predictable super real and whatever that's outside is all there is there's nothing else to it everything in and Newtonian physics is considered very solid, very dense, very heavy. And Newtonian physics is also all about action, all about the, it's all about limitedness or how our reality and how time is very linear. And whatever you do will happen, it, whatever will happen, it's very cause and effect. So whatever, if this happens, this will happen. If this thing happens, this thing will happen. It's all about the cause and effect and it's all about forcing the outcome to happen instead of um, you know, flowing with the outcome quantum reality is about. So not quantum reality is all about beyond our senses. It's no sense, nonsense, as Dr. Joe Dispenza calls it. And if you use your mind, body, and connection to embrace the possibility, it will manifest into matter. So all possibilities exist as a form of energetic potential. Energetic potential is how our thoughts are energy. Everything is energy and everything is, there's potential for anything to be created. And every possibility you can think of is possible. Everything is more fluid, more flexible, and more flowing. These are both of these are theories, by the way. Okay, let's get into my notes here. And this is just, I don't know, ever since I got a tablet, I feel like I've been more having much more fun with creating all these fun notes and stuff. Maybe I'll make continue to make more because it's very fun. And by the way, if you're watching this video, here's an affirmation with for you. It's an app that gives that randomly generates affirmations throughout the day. Um, I know that life has challenges, but I also know that I'm able to overcome them. And I also have another one. I'm a positive person who attracts positive things into my life. I'm sure of who I am, I'm sure of where I'm going, and I have faith in the process. There are three affirmations for you. So here in my notes, we see that we have the Newtonian physics, which is an old model, quantum physics, which is the new model. So Newtonian physics, everything's considered more solid. Um, it's also said that humans have little impact on the outcomes and the universe is like a machine constantly generating producing but like you really have no control and that's when Newtonian physics theorizes. It also says that mind and matter is separate which is not the case as seen in quantum physics okay. As I said before external controls internal whereas where we know in manifestation and also said in quantum physics there's theories and studies done that it's actually the internal which co controls the external and, and here we see the classic atom which you probably all study in science class and chemistry i know i have there's the nucleus electrons protons and newtonian version of an atom I believe is solid okay and now we're gonna look at the quantum physics so quantum physics looks at the tiniest components of an atom right it also says how the physical world okay is more not very solid as newtonian physics says it is it's more waves and energy and particles which are the physical matter and also it also talks about quantum physics also says how all the electrons exist simultaneously with infinite possibilities once we direct our um, observations our focus and attention to it that's when things start to materialize and focus which is what law assumption everything talks about the what we put more energy into is what we see more what we attract more what materializes more and that's what quantum physics also emphasizes so here we see 
the quantum atom okay this is from the book um, and also my credits here and the new school quantum version of the atom with the electron has 99.9999% energy and 0.00001% matter literally nothing nothing we create everything we are the creators that's what it shows and here's the real quantum atom which is literally nothing no thing materially but everything exists potentially everything is possible no material all potential and quantum physics uh, once again shows how our mind can change the physical world and also focus on nonsense nonsense there's no and okay now let's talk about how this applies into manifestation so so how you can manifest using quantum physics so you have to observe the life that you want whatever life you want you have to observe it because the energy responds to your attention at a subatomic level so all the electrons or whatever it responds to that at that level again guys don't judge me how i'm explaining this because i'm doing my best and basically to reaffirm what i've been saying before everything always exists potentially so you can collapse as what the book always constantly mentions it's collapsing um, with any reality you want whatever electrons are kind of like so think of electrons as free flowing for here right now every little thing you ever want all around you therefore once you start observing or directing a simple intention and focus somewhere, that's when like all of these like imagine all these electrons like like uh, clumping up together, clumping up, and then they kind of like form like become very dense and heavy and materialize that way. So they're collapsing or aligning with any reality you want exists, but it's waiting to be observed by you. So when will you start observing the reality which you want and what you want to experience instead? An experience is essentially defined as organizing a vast number of subatomic waves of a probability to a desired event. So therefore. So many different types of waves and coherent waves and everything is creating and increasing the chance of the probability of your desired event occurring. So therefore, you are powerful to influence matter, okay? Matter is not as dense as you think it is because you are energy with a consciousness. So therefore, you can transform and create anything you want because any potential exists. And there's also um, a term mentioned in the book called quantum entanglement which means how the humans and quantum fields are interconnected through space and time and the ideal you in the future is already connected to you right now so you know how we talked about how me and the universe how you and the universe are essentially all one so yeah science talks about that right too here so you already know that right we already know um i guess spiritually that we and the universe are connected so this also says that how humans and quantum field are interconnected as well so quantum entangled whatever you want time isn't real it also affirms that time isn't real and the future you is already connected to the version of you right now you have access to any version of you right now therefore whatever thought we have is energy and the emotions is energy in motion which we are pretty much we've heard that before if you haven't already um, we can manifest anything we want with our thoughts but the emotions when we have that it pushes the energy in motion i was here love law of attraction teachers say how um the universe doesn't respond to what we want it responds to who we are being and that's the same sense of what quantum field um, theory talks about in response to who we are being who we are being who are we who do we identify with? how do we identify with who are we identifying as it's not what we want oh i want this i want that yes then you identify someone who wants that simple as that so the once again also talks about our state of being generates an electromagnetic signature which influences our world our electromagnetic signature which kind of think it reminds you of an aura basically what it's talking about it's our aura what what we create our aura what attracts things what what we experience on a daily basis what type of people we attract um, what type of emotions we feel that is our electromagnetic signature and as mentioned in the book thoughts are the language of the brain and feelings feelings are the language of the body so this makes sense right how like um when we communicate to ourselves in our mind we think we think in a language of course and then our body um feels a certain way whether happy sadness anger the body and mind do have its own way of communicating right and if you can conquer three things your environment what's happening around you your body so your feelings and also your time the time the way how you view time how you experience time what has happened what happened past future, future present and whatever state you're living in right now in your mind if you can conquer all threes you can change anything you want essentially if you change your mind you can change your life and most of us are sometimes living in a survival state which makes us focus on the 0.0001 percent of reality instead of the 99.9999 percent 
of reality which actually exists in front of us. But we continue to perpetuate the similar realities because we, I guess, are conditioned from a young age of living in survival state. So the survival state is about like, oh my God, like, which is what our ancestors had to go through in order to survive, like maybe just like very external circumstances such as like um, weather, shelter, food, and all that. Like, oh my God, blah, blah. like, but here now we're in like a new age society. We still have that system embedded within us, except now it's used for oh my god if uh am i gonna be able to pay this bill or are they gonna text me or this and that and that that like that's what we use that for instead of focusing on the potential what we can create so here is a chart explaining our electromagnetic potential so here you are this chart perfectly explains what i was talking about before here you are right now there's the past there's the future there's everything you want up here all the possibilities exist and all you gotta do is change how you think and feel to match anything you want and make it exist in your reality your mind your body whatever and you will move into a new line of time and the event will find you in your new reality everything that exists right here is available in front of you right now right now whatever happened back there doesn't happen whatever happens up there in the front um who cares we're not gonna worry about how it happens right now we're gonna focus on it creating it having it feeling it right now and obviously the most basic ways to connect to this quantum field theory this whole universe of course as we call it is to use gratitude and also to change everything within and rest will follow so we know we know this already we, maybe we didn't need quantum field to show us this but we wanted to know anyway right we know how if we change within first the rest will follow right but the recent talking video explains this why do we need how it will happen when it will happen where it will happen when we know that if we if we truly had it right now we wouldn't be worrying about those things in the first place so essentially whatever living in the end stay wish fulfilled affirming repetition consistency all these things that we always talk about is um how to utilize the quantum field effectively so whatever we always talk about affirming repetition consistency feeling as if meditating um Anything, anything, subliminals, everything. All of those things is how to connect to the quantum field. You don't need to do anything extra. This is simply just explaining and reaffirming every single thing that you heard all these teachers tell you. All these books you, maybe other books you probably already read about the universe, spirituality. This is simply saying how the science and manifestation are aligning. I will post this. I feel like a teacher. I will post this um, document note thing on Pinterest and I guess on my YouTube. I'll try to do that. Um, if the whole thing fits on my on the community tab i hope this was helpful I fo hopefully you kind of learned and hopefully i was able to explain everything much more very simply so very easily and how manifestation quantum reality newtonian physics everything on all that how is that different how we can use that so you want to live the newtonian way or you want to make things harder for yourself you want to force the outcomes you want to only take action and you want to believe that external controls the internal or do you want to live the quantum way where everything and anything is possible and you believe that you can achieve anything you want and you don't let the external circumstances reflect that because you know that if you change your internal reality the external will reflect that so you tell me this okay this video is going back to you now you want to live the newtonian way you want to live the quantum way let me know in the comments below um do you find this video helpful what did i miss anything could i explain anything better like um, is there anything more you want to know? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious to see what you guys think about this video. Um, that's all I had to explain today. Um, so let me know in the comments below. You are enough. You deserve the best. And I'll see you soon. Bye.